Invincible Series 1 Episode 1 title It's About Time and this episode is of course the beginning of the Amazon's brand new adult anime show based on the comic book of the same name which is huge this is a huge deal like Invincible in the comic book community is a big thing if and it's kind of like the story that people would recommend to people who just read marvel and dc and that's kind of it um because it's like oh it's superheroes but it's kind of like a different type of superhero story and, and people lose their minds over it and it, and it so understand me so me who has not read the comic there's that mindset of oh there's a show coming out i'll check out the show and this episode is written by Robert, uh, Robert Kurtzman, who is the uh, creator and the, and the writer of the entire, the entire comic book series, because it is a series that has a meal getting an end. And who also is the, cre the creator of The Walking Dead. If you don't know, Walking Dead is based on a comic. Anyway, so I checked out this first episode, and I will say this, I'm, I'm not... I wasn't impressed with this episode. For me, there were certain things that you could tell, like, first things first, yeah, you could tell this show is, animation-wise, is done on the cheap level. Like, characters are losing, it feel like, all the characters are losing frame rates. <laughs> like, all the characters are, like, so clanky and just, like, very, like, it's like they just need to grab that bowl and it's like do you want to have that arm kind of move ahead and you can tell it's not like i'm not asking for a pixel level or all that but it did kind of feel like at the beginning i was like okay it seems like the dc animated movies have more more of a budget than this um and they're done cheaply as well so i wasn't that I, it took me a, a bit of adjustment for for that aspect of things but all the other stuff like story wise most of this episode came down to two things one it became a little bit too okay this is written badly maybe like not concept wise but this is like dialogue bad like dialogue wise is written bad like bad on belief like this is seen where Mark Grayson, who are who is invisible, he's our main character, and he witnesses in high school this guy harassing this girl, and this guy's response to this girl after she, she says, "What you thought it's okay to harass me?" and his response is, "What are you a lesbian or something?" I'm like, "Oh my god, this is." that's bad that's bad dialogue so you get a couple of those scenes in those moments so there's a, a couple of scenes in this episode it's a bit of a quinn's factor where m maybe it works better when you read it off the comic book page but when you actually just hear people actually saying it you're like hmm 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 not good but also it feels very like quick it feels wash really story-wise it just feels like the story of this episode is just going trying to go to point a to point b in a very quick and very quick and it's like no 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 this this is part c b is the scene that's between those so it just feels very quick and very wash of it like the whole concept of this episode is you got mark grayson who's the father of who's basically he's he's the son of the, of the superman of this universe who's also the leader of the guardians who is no who may or may not be a whip off of the justice league there's a batman there's a wonder woman we got the superman we got a flash we got a master manhunter um in this league we got we got Aquaman. like it's no doubt it is a hundred percent whip of of the justice league anyway so um or at least knock off or merge a homage to the Justice League. And he and he but the thing is he doesn't have powers and, and then you know Mark gets powers and he gets trained by him and and the story and he becomes invincible in the end and it it feels like a, a simple plot, but it's just like how it's done was just so 
just felt washed, really. And I just felt, it just like, felt like this episode just wanted to go point A to point, point C very quickly and, and forgot about B. Um, and that, and again, you want Invincible to be Invincible at the end of the episode, but I was like, take your time, take your moments, and let these, let these, let this show breathe a bit. Now, what has intrigued me to watch the other two episodes is the ending. Because the ending, <laughs> I was like, okay. I don't want to spoil it. You know, I'll talk about next, uh, when I talk about episode two. But I won't lie. Like, the, the, the moment that scene happened, I was like, okay. Seems like this, you know, Superman, Peter Parker-ish thing is so, so going to slowly turn into this gory, violent thing. It's, it's, it's brutal. So, I wasn't as a must fan of this episode, but the ending got me impressed to see what was happening in the West of this season, or at least for next episode.